This is something I haven't accomplished in real life. You actually don't know how to swim, and I've offered to try to teach you what is called the combat side perfect. stroke. And the combat side stroke is actually uh, one of the things that they teach you in the military. Alright, SEALs must know how to effectively operate and maneuver in all types and depths of water. This training exercise will teach you the basics of swimming and underwater swimming. Uh, so no. Yep. So this, the combat side stroke is actually what he's doing right here. Okay. Uh, you can't see his legs or anything like that, but... Is there a particular reason why he uses this uh, for mobility reasons? Though the combat side stroke is made for endurance. Oh, okay. It's made to last a long time and not use up as much energy. I, I personally use this because it's a little easier for me to breathe. But like it takes up less energy for me than uh, oh. you weren't listening. So if you, you may have noticed there was a guy standing there on the docks. Yeah, yeah, no, he's yeah. shooting me up there now. How do I yes. go on the water? So uh what we missed there is triangle is crouch on land and it's go prone. Oh, okay, land. so it's what it'll actually do on water is you'll go under water. Yeah. So we try so the, uh, the combat side stroke is used uh, primarily because it's more of an endurance kind of thing. It's it's not for the soldiers to get from point A to point B quickly. It's so that they don't drown. <laughs> it's so they don't get too exhausted. What do they do on the line? What's the Triangle. Oh, no, no, no. What do they do in real life? Uh, for swimming underwater? Um, that's a good question. I don't actually know about that one. I, I haven't gone through SEAL training. Are you kidding? I'm not cut out for the SEALs. My swimming sucks. Okay, so if you notice that thing next to you, or next to your health, is, yeah. Uh, down? Yes, that is how long you hold your breath. You do not die if you run out of breath. You just pop up immediately. That's like, I, I'd rather lose health than that. Uh, in certain situations, it's actually... The, better to okay so that's swimming I don't don't oh sorry like okay here's the thing about this game when it says mission completed you wait it, you wait until it says mission success because that's when the screen starts to darken I have jumped off the edge of something and just because you thought you were done and because the mission success thing didn't show up yet I fell to my death. That's celebration. I have accidentally shot one of my teammates before mission success came up, and I failed the mission because of that. <laughs> it's um, like one of the hardest missions in the hit, game. Hitting one of your teammates uh, normally doesn't do anything. If you hit them enough times, it counts as friendly fire, and that automatically makes you fail a mission. Demolitions training. Oh. Seals can be deployed to perform direct action strikes, which require the demolition of key targets or infrastructures. This training exercise will teach you how to place satchels and C4s and fire rocket launchers. Ooh. Uh, for the purpose of this training exercise, you will... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving it up. So what you have on your back right now, oh, I believe, is an M3... Uh, yeah, an M3 rocket launcher. Uh, can I just comment on how many of your you have in, like, a cup? Like, all your pets? Oh. You have, like, a ton of red pets. Well, we buy those packs, and I just never use them, because... Yeah. It's like you seem like a like a teacher, like a high school teacher. I'm or teaching like, you right now. I'm you teaching like you the basics of, of combat. Place the C4, motherfucker. Uh, place it. Shoot. No. It's on a timer. <laughs> if you actually shoot it, will it actually or do anything? Um, I've never tried because this game is actually really finicky with the accuracy. It requires pinpoint accuracy. Where are you uh, rocket launcher is a little more leeway because you know. Um, so no, no. Okay, so you you can only move slowly when you are using a rocket launcher. And what um what are um why you can't open that door? Are you serious? Uh, wait, 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 wait. You can't open that door. And you can't climb through that window for some reason. Leave where you came from. I want to like jump out the window. No, stop it's... making episode zero longer than it needs to be. I'll find it. I'll... Okay, there's enemy armor. Switch to your M3. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. What the heck? 
I didn't even see it like shoot. Go ahead and fire it. Well, that's the thing with real life projectiles. Like it's not like Call of Duty. These things move ludicrously fast. Now switch back to your rifle. Go full auto. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Just so like, sh shoot, shoot this. Just randomly shoot. Okay. Uh, we're too close to the target. Uh, what I was going to point out is uh, one of the things that I actually love about this game. It's a really minor detail. Tracer rounds. They are used... Um, oh, I remember you talking about this. Yes. So tracer rounds in reality are used by uh, soldiers, I believe, usually in the automatic rifleman position. And it's because you're dealing with suppressive fire. And what it is is a round, I believe coated in magnesium. Uh, uh, I guess we'll read this here. Uh, seals utilize tactical mobility to conduct reconnaissance, provide greater firepower, mm, ha uh, have additional maneuverability, or a combination of all three. This training exercise will teach you how to drive and blah blah blah. Yep. Driving. Oh yeah, so tracer rounds. Actually, like, aim up in the sky right now. And hold down. Yeah. So you see how sometimes you'll see that, like the round actually go through. Yeah. In reality, you don't see bullets like you do in Call of Duty. Oh, I see. The tracer mean. rounds are magnesium tipped. Uh, yeah, I think it's magnesium tipped bullets. And basically, when the round goes off, um, you know, it's lit because magnesium. You've you've lit magnesium before, right? Yeah. So I do remember doing that in chemistry. Yes. And what that is is when you are a soldier doing uh, suppressive fire. You want to make sure you're shooting in the right direction. You want to make sure the shots are where you are aiming in that. Right? Yeah. And when you're going fully automatic, there's a lot of recoil. Tracer rounds are to help see that. And I love the fact that they have tracer rounds incorporated into this game. Because it's a really minor detail. It's just kind of something you wouldn't really notice because a lot of the games kind of like show. Games don't, don't do anything with a concept like that. But the interesting thing is, in this game, Tracer rounds are there every three or four rounds you fire off, right? So like, you, you'll fire like two rounds, no tracer. Fire a third one, tracer. Okay, so hold on. While you're in a vehicle, press the D-pad. Side. Okay. Like left and right. That changes your position. Okay. Yes. Now you're in the recon one. Aim. Nope. Go to the back spot. Oh, that's a recon one? It's, uh, aim. Wait, huh? Me on defense? Yeah. Work. Oh, okay. That's yes. a recon thing. Okay. There's a guy up there! Wait, exit? That? I can't even see him. See how useful that is? Okay, exit the vehicle. Hold position. And that's how you do that. Can I shoot him from right here? Uh... It's really tricky. Okay, so that's another thing. If you are aiming with a scope and you hold down the trigger on full auto, your character will stop using the scope Wait. because of the recoil. Oh, okay. That, that's what happened on that. Semi-auto, always. Always, always, always in this game, semi-automatic. Okay. <laughs> for, like, just long distance and if you're going for, like, a... Anything. If the weapon has a semi-automatic capability, use semi-auto. Yeah, subdue and capture enemies like that. Yes. We are going to learn non-lethal combat, aka hand-to-hand, -hand, aka flashbang, <laughs> aka uh, down on the ground now. <laughs> this is police. No. Okay. Seals are highly effective in performing raids, where the goal is to cap the capture of enemy combatants. This training exercise will teach you how to subdue and capture enemy combatants using non-lethal force. For the purpose of this exercise or training exercise, you will be given unlimited ammunition. Enemy Okay, so, change your firing mode. Notice how there's that Whoa. there instead. That's because you have an under barrel attachment right now. The same thing will happen if you have a shotgun attachment or if you have a grenade launcher attachment underneath. What you're using right now is basically firing pepper spray. It fires Olorus and Capacium. Okay, hit select. Yeah, select? Yes. Okay. This will always show you your objective. Capture enemies. So capture enemies at Alpha, Charlie, and Echo. Or no, Charlie, Delta, Echo. You know, I, like, uh, what I realized, it's only having a problem when I try to move up left. 
it doesn't actually go when I like hold it oh. in a certain position. So that's kind of like why it freezes. Oh, this is that controller. Oops. No, it's it's cool. It's just kind of like I would just have like inch up stairways, like kind of like this. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like sidestep on it. Oops. No, no, no! Uh, Non-lethal. Like... Okay, hit him again. Okay, so when they are green, that is when they become an, a non-combatant. Oh, you just picked up his AK. Pick your gun back up. This one doesn't have non-lethal. Okay, can I move forward. I think I got him already. Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on. Do you, do I have to like there we go, restrain. Yeah, that is the most finicky and annoying part of this game for me. The Wait, prompts. Can you switch like the? They have arrows down there. But yes, uh, you can switch that to pick up the secondary. Or like, how how do I like use the arrows? On that? Hold X. Hold X. Now press the D-pad. Oh okay, yeah, that's what yes. you're saying. So that's when I can use the restrain stuff. Yes. Oh, easier. And if you well, sometimes. <laughs> It, like it's all proximity based for that, right? Oh. Sometimes you need to like get right up. Uh, like you basically need to start grinding against them, like a high school dance. Sometimes, Dude. man, that is the most disgusting thing to me. I hate high school dances because of that. Like, will he die for this? Man. No, it's non-lethal. Poor <laughs> guy. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, sorry. You look as sadistic sure. as me. <laughs> I had to make sure he was gonna be okay. When it goes green, you had to make sure he was okay. You were spraying pepper spray in his <laughs> face. I mean, he's a bad guy, right? So it's okay. He's a pepper military. Scientist. Whoa. Yes. So that is what happens when you are hit by a flashbang or this stuff. Um. Oh, he, he shot me again. No, you're just too close. It's pepper spray. Oh. When these rounds hit. Dude, that looks like a flashbang. Yeah. Pepper spray, I imagine, like, doesn't make the screen well, the light. Look at it like this. If they have to change that, that's more budget. Oh, okay. That's true. I got very confused right there. So the game didn't around. actually teach you how to use flashbangs. Flashbangs are deployed the exact Oh yeah, you actually can use flashbangs, but I just didn't actually yes. use them. What the heck? It, it won't hurt you, it's just you can't really see and you have this, you know, the usual um, ringing in your ears. I just forgot that you, I had to hold it down for longer yeah, to yeah. Use, because like, I, I just kind of clicked on it yes. thought it was going to lob. They, they deploy kinda exactly fire. the same as grenades. Right. Learn how to administer first aid on the battlefield. Okay. You don't need to do that one. Oh shoot, I just clicked it anyway. Okay, whatever. It, it's fine. Um, first aid is you equip it the way you equip grenades, and you literally, like, instead of holding down the button, just press it once and you use it. So it's kind of like uh, Left 4 Dead. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, hit X. Kind of yeah. Okay, Can now you go through your menu. Medicate. Now just hit shoot. Shoot? Oh, okay. I needed that. Yep, and use it. Thank you, guy in my head. And if you want to, go ahead and use it on a teammate, it's the interact button instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it have, like, a prop for that, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's not injured right now. Can I injure him? What the heck? Okay, so you see how his health bar is going down like that? When that runs out, he dies. Okay. You so have until you that goes down to use a medkit on him. Yeah, now you can go ahead and use it again on him to finish him. See, so medkits heal, um, I want to say like around 30 to 40 percent of your health. It's not a half, and it's not full. And you only have three of them when you go into missions. And you never regenerate health. They never regenerate, and your health does not regenerate. That's one of the things I love about this, because Call of Duty sucks! Yeah, you just take a couple of bold moves and get right back up on this. That, that's actually one of the most intense things of this game, because there have been times where, like, I'm at the final objective, I have one mag left, and I have, like, a hair of health left. This game can get intense, and it's, it can get very difficult. Just like the fact that you kind of have to keep on going uh, constantly on that one health, and if you can actually do it, like, as a 
not being shot once throughout the victory too. Yes. <clears throat> and that that right there is also why I recommend using semi-automatic always on this game, okay? Is there a, like an achievement sort of thing for like doing missions in like a fast enough time or like without getting um, hits or losing people? There's a thing for completing the campaign within a certain amount of time, but whatever. Okay. So this you've already had a little bit of experience with. I just hit okay. Okay. Circle time. This is your team menu. Okay, hit, uh, hit circle. Okay, now hit circle again. Okay, don't don't do anything. Fire team able to Bravo Bravo one and Bravo two. Okay. Bravo. Actually, no. Hit down. Yeah. Now look on the lower right hand side of the screen. Yeah. You see how only Jester is highlighted. Blue bar. Now go down by one. Bravo element is both of those guys. Then oh, go down okay. again, Bravo 1, go down, Bravo 2. Whatever is highlighted is who you are ordering. Now hit circle. And menu or TV now look down around whatever. Down uh, hit R2. Or uh, wrong button, I meant L2. Hold no, that's okay. So if you hold, it's either follow or hold position. If you tap it. Hold on, let me just get back up. Okay, so if you hold it, it makes him hold position. If you tap it, then it moves. Not necessarily. You see, you see a little blue prompt down there? Oh, okay. If you are looking at an enemy, you can there uh, the icon can change, and you can actually tell your team to take down the target or capture the target or something like that. If it's an enemy who's put their weapon down, you can tell your team to cap like uh, to restrain them like you did earlier now if you want a much more in-depth one just hit circle and you can go ahead and access a list of things here does that stop the full combat yes okay. your game is paused when you're doing this and it's extremely immersion breaking for one reason music stops too <laughs> it's super weird uh, he's not quite there yet Oh, you got me. It's, joy. it's pinpoint with this. No, you. I think they want you to get Jester yeah, no, there. Yeah, Jester. He's already there, though. Uh, aim Fire. at it. Aim directly at the target. Like, use your sights if you need to. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I Jester, can't, I can't actually able see, to. yeah. I'm moving out, sir. Good work. You're right there. I'm there, arrived. he's there. What are your orders, sir? Oh. No! Hey, Jesus I'm, Christ! I'm sorry. Friendly <laughs> fire will not be tolerated. Wait, uh, no, you are ordering Killjoy this time. Oh, okay. Killjoy is Bravo now. One. Uh, Killjoy, where are you going? I need you. You to need him, Echo. Hold L2 That's not close enough, I think. Do the aiming thing again. See how says he's like he's heading there at 36 meters. You want him at the 58 meter mark. Oh shoot! He got me right there. He's gotta be right there for this, for the purpose of this. So, sometimes there will be different actions. Uh, the quickest way to do things is just hit L2, right? Yeah. If you want to be sure about something, you can open up the menu. Who doesn't need to be, uh, move Foxtrot? Order simple, yep, order simple. Uh, Bravo 2, So one of my favorite things about this game, you can order your fire team to breach a room. <laughs> and they will do it the right way. They suck at it because of their AI, but they will do it correctly. Jester. Do I need to do any specifics? Uh, wow, what the hell? Hold on. Exit this menu? To plant a satchel. Good work. What, Jester? Well, why are you hurt? Oh, yeah, because okay. I shot you. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. Order, order Killjoy to the quest flag. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Bravo 1. You can go down to deploy. Deploy. Yes. To deploy a frag oh, grenade. I have to, uh, Good work. Okay, that's good. So. Killjoy. Aim the crosshairs at any location. Okay, and use the TCM to order uh, Bravo no. 2 
It, do, it doesn't matter. This is just this is just letting you know how to get them to deploy stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I think well, this is blow that simple. Up. Deploy smoke. Uh, where to? Anywhere. Okay. Uh, I want my entire team to deploy smoke right here. Actually, it's not the entire team that does that. Uh, okay. What it is is whoever has it will do so. Well, it's because, like, hey, let's I'm say... I'm like, a whole, like, orgy of smoke to me right there. Well, sometimes... Here's the thing. They don't always have smoke on them. You... This is another very in-depth thing about this game. You control what they have on them. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I hit L2 on that. I... Draw a... Exit. Deploy... Wait. Frag's not gonna do shit against this okay. thing. Okay, never mind. Hit L2. L2? Yes. Alright. Okay, so you see how down there, the... Um, down there, in the bottom... No, don't fucking aim at him! This doesn't look like my team that hit on there. So down in the bottom, uh, where it had the blue thing, it was really hard to see there, but the prompt actually changed. So you can just quickly order your team to take the target down if you're aiming right at the target. Mm, yeah. Or you could go ahead and shoot them yourself. That works too. I feel like it'd be more effective to get up the entire to take it home. Yeah, it it really depends because sometimes, um, sometimes you have to go ahead and change the loadouts. 